everyone welcome back to the next video as always my name is Smith I'm currently doing Telltale series Batman hopefully you enjoyed the past videos but if you when haven't had the time starts, check out the past videos you can sure definitely you do that right or you just try to catch up right here um, on episode Wayne, 2 thank you for Children opening of your house to us Children of Gotham Together, so we will change Gotham. Okay, let's go ahead and get right into it now, Harvey Dent Gotham's next mayor and eager to know you Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Um, no comment. Your father knew which hands to shake. Yeah, not yours. Don't you know not so. to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Ain't <laughs> Batman slow. This is Selena. How many? <sighs> I'd That's have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. There's no telling the how many bodies were laying there. Where are they? We're all being played in, including you. Slap them, just kind of backhand them a little bit. The wings. <laughs> well, the wings are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Man, totally did not see that one coming. Still don't believe him. But we'll find out more as we get into more of the game and. Find out if the Waynes really are gangsters. Or is Carmine just all talk? We all know you can't trust him. Yeah, but definitely, um, I do appreci appreciate everyone from checking out the videos. Um, definitely, if you haven't, definitely subscribe. Hit the like button. But feedback is always welcome either good or positive anything to help make better videos for you guys i'm all up for it so definitely leave, leave some feedback City is pretty bad. If I got an alley, I thought I might find you here. Alley. The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. People are throwing stones at my family, Alfred. I need to understand why. It's my family, too. Don't forget that. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped know, it Alfred? would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. And try harder! Come on, Alfred. Don't hold back, man. Hill greased Bruce the wheels power. of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone 
The papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. You're right. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Right. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. Oh, no. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. Joe Chill. He was simply too. He had no chill that too, night. Too big. Yet there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. You ain't gonna find it in the alley now, Bruce. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parent's killer? The possibilities are frightening. I'd only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. Come on, Bruce. times at that theater how long did it play there only when you wanted to see it Bruce your mother arranged the special screenings personally I never knew that she was always so good to me Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? What should you do, Bruce? You always gotta know.
Greg, the pearls are no good in that play. Bruce, are you all right? It wasn't a mug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Go get him, Bruce. Get him, Buck. You know I'm going to get him. I never knew that part of the story before. Yeah, why does GCP do look so run down and ratchet because it's in Gotham. Oh, dang. But getting you in to see Falcone like this, I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. More like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. All right. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say. You know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. Yeah. It's great to know he's out there watching over the city. Yeah. Because he's the bat of Gotham. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Let's get it, Bruce. Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pup digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings. 
and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> Damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Bruh. Really, you done beat him up enough. Let's just ease the pain. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I need you coherent. Or you would be gone already. <laughs> oh, there it is. That Wayne streak. Much better, kid. Streak. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. What, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. Who so did? who did? Yeah. <laughs> you can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the <laughs> Oh, shit. They're waiting for you in hell! The bastard had to die. Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Dang. Go! She put two hot ones in my man. Just came out. Bow! Shots fired. Good lord. There's some thugs up in Gotham. Just when we was about to get some answers. Just two hot ones. We are in deep shit. You right. I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Well... Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement wow. saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in, and we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Yes. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. Oh, shit. I can delay them for a little while. No, you can't. still need answers. 
Yeah, you definitely gonna need some answers for that. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. We all do. <sighs> she put two in my man. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm going to try and confirm some suspicions of mine. What am I doing? A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. Technology, man. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze what? and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. She's coming too. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen. All you right. have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone. But I would never... Never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. Yeah. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. They need some evidence. Hey, I do. Of, of course. Need some evidence. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. You're right. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! What are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. Now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Uh -oh. Just give me something to run with. You're fishing. You don't have anything. Now if you'll excuse me. You should talk to me, Bruce. 
This is coming out whether you stonewall me or not. I know it's hard to trust a reporter, man. Even if it is Vicky Vale. Things are going went down in GCPD. There we go. It's just transforming. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed yeah. that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed. Surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and yeah, ex executioner. They were. They no got him. No actors, all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. So they tweaked it to make it more. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you. Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Head. 
So you go to computer all head. Right. for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? He just took it over. Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. It's time for the Batman. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. It's actually been a lot of fun playing this. I've definitely enjoyed playing it. As far as the old Batman, uh, most people that really know me knows I'm a a big fan of Batman, so I definitely will be doing more videos with this. Uh, so definitely check back. And if you like it, definitely leave me some feedback. Definitely smash that like button like Batman did those ribs in the first video. And, you know, feedback. I definitely love some feedback. Um, any type, positive or negative. Just any way I can make, more vid make better videos for you guys. So I see you all next time. Deuces.